Hello balloon artists, I really hope you're safe and well. So today's tutorial is a request from the members of my Balloon Artworks Academy, which is my closed Facebook group. And today I'm going to show you how to make a Tiki Totem centerpiece. Hi, I'm Melanie from Balloon Artworks here in Derbyshire in the East Midlands, helping you take your balloon art to the next level. Whilst you're here, remember to subscribe to my channel and activate the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos, which I publish on Tuesdays. And this week, I'd be really grateful if you would share this tutorial on your social media. This week's tutorial was requested by a member of my Balloon Artworks Academy closed Facebook group. If you'd like to join, I'll leave a link in the description below. You can also join me on my app on my website. I've got a few different special interest groups on my app and I'll leave links in the description again. So let's get started on our Tiki Totem. Take two 11 inch balloons and we want to size these to six and a half inches. So just let the air out and then fit that, whoops, fit that through the hole. Do the same with the other one. Cross the two over, the next over, wrap round and tie. Okay, and you want another one of these. Take your two duplets and just wrap those together. So that's one cluster of four. And we want to make another cluster of four sized to seven inches. This cluster I'm using a chocolate brown. So just let the air out and size to seven inches or alternatively use your digital sizer. Okay, tie together and make another one of those. And wrap those together. So again, you've got your cluster of four. So you take your two clusters, put one on top of the other, and you want to put the top layer in between the gap, in between the uh, lower layer, and then just push through. We're doing a, a roll through, and then just move it round, pushing each layer through. Until you've traded places and then what we want to do we just want to cross over one balloon on the top with the other and that will lock everything in place okay so that's what you've got next you're going to need a reasonably heavy weight uh, this is a sand weight you can use other types of weights but I do like to use the sand weights and in the real world I match my sand weights to the color of the base uh, but you simply take the neck of the sand weight pull that through into the middle and wrap that round figure of eight a couple of times around the base and then I pull it up through the next layer and wrap around just figure of eight okay and that's really secure so you've got your sand weight nestling in the base there next you're going to need a 646 and again i'm using mocha brown so i've inflated this to about three feet or 36 inches just put a twist in the neck and then tie take that neck and nozzle and pull that through into the base and again just a figure of eight around the two layers until you can't figure eight anymore. You're going to need two 350s next with a tail of about four fingers okay so give your balloon a squeeze and twist off a bubble of about four fingers okay and then you want to pinch twist that so grab hold of the knot and pull that back and pinch twist and wrap that round a few times okay again give your balloon a squeeze and then bring it in front of your column and we want to um, create a bubble of about a foot so twist that off and then make another bubble of about four fingers or so, pull those two together and pinch twist that. Okay. So that's what 
you've got. And then with this, you can wrap this round. Again, give it a bit of a squeeze if it's feeling a little bit tight. And we just want to wrap that around, okay? We don't want to wrap tightly. So this bubble is a much bigger bubble than the one at the back. And if I turn it this way, you'll be able to see that a little bit better. That's got much more of a curve on it than this, okay? So we can wrap this round, snip off the end, and we want to make a second layer exactly the same as this. So take another 350, twist off a bubble of about four fingers, pinch twist that, give it a squeeze, make a bubble to match this back one, so about a foot or so. And make another fourth in the bubble, pinch twist that. Okay. And then, as we did before, bring your balloon round the front and make this bubble to match that one. Okay, and you can break this off. So that's what you've got. Next, you're going to need two white 350s with long tails, you know, inflated to about halfway. So, and you want to take that neck and nozzle and just wrap that into that pinch twist there. Okay. And then we want to twist off bubbles of about three to four, about four fingers. Okay. And these are going to be the teeth. That's about four fingers. And then just carry on. Make them as evenly as you can. So how many have I got there? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's usually about right. And then we just wrap that into that pinch twist there, okay? And then you can break this off and tie. Cut it off, whatever you prefer to do. Okay, so we've got our first layer of teeth. And then with our next 350, just make sure that's soft and wrap that into the pinch twist there. Okay, and then we want to do the same thing with our next layer of teeth. So, another bubble of about three fingers, uh, four fingers, sorry. Another bubble of about four fingers. So we're trying to make the teeth similar sizes. I can't quite see what I'm doing here. I'm going to make another bubble. Okay, so we're making similar sized teeth. Yeah, and I think I've got one more to do. One, two, three, four, five, and one more. Okay, and then we're just going to wrap that into that pinch twist. Okay, and then we can cut this off. Okay, so we just want to arrange our teeth so that they're on top of one another. And push that layer down. And then take another 350 with a good long tail and wrap 
that into those two pinch twists there. Depending on how big you make these bubbles, these layers, um, sometimes you do have uh, enough balloon to go up the side from, from here, but we haven't on this occasion, so not to worry, no problem. We're not short of balloons, so I'm just going to make a bubble of about, I don't know, five or six inches or so, and wrap that into that pinch twist there. And then break this off. Save this bit. And you can actually just tie that off. Just take this piece and just wrap that into that pinch twist there. And again, we want to make a bubble to match this one. So this is the back view. So we want to make a five or six inch bubble. And then just wrap that in. And then you can cut this off and you can tie that. Okay, so that's what we've got at the moment. Next, take a 260 with a tail of about three fingers or so. And we want to make two pinch twists. So twist off a bubble of about three fingers and then twist off another bubble to match that. So you've got two bubbles, bring those together, hold on to that uh, knot and nozzle, just twist those together and then take that neck and nozzle and pull it through and that will pinch twist those two bubbles. Give the balloon a bit of a squeeze. And then we want to wrap this loosely around uh, the, the central column okay and um, we don't want it too tight so just wrap that into those two pinch twists and then you can cut off the end Next, you're going to need two black five inch rounds. And I'm inflating these to about four inches and then flattening them off on my table. I'm giving them a twist, I'm not tying them yet. And then I've got an uninflated 160. I'm just going to lay that over the top and then I'm just going to tie that into the knot there. Okay, so it's just very loosely trapped. Uh, in the way that you would tie onto a bit of fishing line for a string of pearl arch and you can actually uh, lengthen and pull pull the um, 160 through that knot if you need to okay we want this to be nice and round Let's just flatten it off and then tie that onto the other end of your 160 just lay that over the top and then tie that knot directly on. Okay, so you've got this going on. So next, take your duplet of eyeballs and you just want to tie them around the column. And then you want to just them round a little bit and just move them along that 260 okay 
next take her to 60 with a tail of three fingers or so and twist off a bubble of about two three fingers and turn that into a pinch twist okay. and then you want to measure across we want this to stick out about three fingers or so from the central column and then mark off at the center point and you want to twist off a bubble so you've got a bubble there of about six inches or so okay and then you want to make a bubble of about three fingers pinch twist that and then make another bubble of about three fingers and pinch twist that okay that's what you've got and then make another bubble to match this one this is the bubble and then make another three finger bubble okay and pinch twist that So that's what you've got at the moment. Okay, we're going to lay that over the top of our eyeballs and then just wrap that in there. Snip off the end. Next, take a 260 and mocha brown with the tail of a couple of fingers and wrap the end into that pinch twist there. Okay. And then we want to bring this down and we want to just loosely encircle that eyeball. Okay. And then you want to wrap that into that front pinch twist there. Okay, so that's what we've got. And then we want to do the same on this side. I'm just going to have to hope for the best. I can't really see what I'm doing from here. So I'm just going to turn around and try and get this as even as possible. So you just have to eyeball it, excuse the pun. And you can move these around, move them up. Okay, and then just bring this round the back and wrap that into the pinch twist on the other side. Next you're going to need another 260 with a three finger tail or so and we're going to make two three finger bubbles. Bring those together, pinch twist them using my normal method. Just pull that knot and nozzle through. Okay, that's what you've got. Give everything the squeeze. And then we're just going to wrap this around the top of our Tiki Totem's head and then twist into those pinch twists at the back. So you need to have for this next bit, you need to make sure that um, the bottom of the eye sockets are resting on top of the, uh, this 260 here. And then we're going to turn it round because we're just going to use the rest of this balloon to make everything um, just hold together. So you're just going to bring that down and just wrap it into those two pinch twists there. And that's just going to help keep everything in position. Okay, and then we can trim off the end and tie that off. Next, another 350 mocha brown with a turn of a couple of fingers. And you're going to wrap that into that pinch twist there. Give everything a squeeze to make sure it's soft and then you're going to bring that up the back and wrap into this these two pinch twists here that we just made so you're just sort of bulking out this section here giving a bit of shape there so I'm just eyeballing this as I do it I'm going to move that round so I can actually see what I'm doing twist that off wrap it into this pinch twist here and then just down to the other side and another bubble to match this one coming down here so just wrap that 
into that pinch twist there. And then you can break this off and tie. Next, take a little piece of mocha brown scrap and we just want to make a little raisin by tying a couple of knots into that scrap. And then we're just going to trim off either side of that knot. So you've got your little raisin and then take a 350 mocha brown and just put that raisin inside that 350 and you want it to go all the way to the bottom. Then inflate your 350. So just grab hold of that raisin, the end of the nose, and we want it to be slightly to the back. So I don't want it to be at the very top or at the front, I just want it to go slightly back. So I'm just kind of working it backwards a little bit. And I've got hold of it there. I'm gonna give it a twist. I'm taking a 160 and I'm just wrapping that round. Okay, just catching hold of that and then tying that 160. Okay, and when you've tied once, tie a second time. Okay, so that's what you've got. You only need a little bit and I'm just going to wrap that into that pinch twist there. Okay, and then I'm gonna bring that nose down and I'm going to take the ends of the 160 and I'm just going to feed each end behind, in between the two teeth, the two sets of teeth and behind this bubble here. Okay. Do the same on the other side. And then at the back, just tie together. And that's just going to hold the nose in position. Don't worry about these eyeballs moving around at the moment. We will sort that all out. Okay, so that's gonna, just going to keep that nose tucked in. And make sure you position it. If you've got an even number of teeth, which I have, make sure you position it with three teeth on one side and three teeth on the other side, just for symmetry. Okay, so that's what we've got at the moment. That's the back view. So take your 160 in a, a nice bright color, just make a loop and then pull your eyeball through. And you want something that is um, small enough to stop that eyeball pulling through, but large enough to just go over uh, the top of the um, mocha round a little bit. Twist that off, uh, take that knot and nozzle through, just pass that through, and then you can break this off. Okay, and keep this bit just high this off because this will do for the other eyeball and then this one we can just tie and this one I just like to tie this twice okay and then just trim off the messy bits and then make another one of these give this a bit of shaping and then just pull that your eyeball through Do the same thing on the other side. So take a uh, 160 and I'm going to make a nice long leaf. So make a bubble of about uh, nine inches or so, followed by another bubble of about 11 inches. Okay, twist those together. And then make another bubble to match this one. So make your 11, sorry, your nine inch bubble followed by an 11 inch bubble. They're not exactly the same, don't worry. It doesn't matter, it's a leaf. You know, these, these things aren't um, perfectly symmetrical. And then twist off a soft bubble of a couple of fingers and pinch twist that, okay? 
and then we want to break this off right at the very end and tie. So with a 260 with a good long tail we're just going to make loops of about three to four fingers so this is going to be your standard daisy whatever however you like to make that whatever size you like to make it whether it's um, five petals three petals um, six petals or seven petals your choice going to break this off wrap that in a few times okay. and then I'm just going to take that bubble and I'm going to wrap that into the center of my flower and then I'm going to arrange everything I'm just going to pull those leaves through so this is what you've got and this can go here to adorn our tiki totem so just take a 160 in mocha and just wrap that through the center of your flower and then I'm just going to position this at the top here and I'm going to take that 160 and just wrap that around the column and back into the center of that flower so I'm not wrapping in too tightly I'm just gonna come on here so I can see what I'm doing and then just rearrange your flower Please do give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, activate the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos which I bring out on Tuesdays. And please do share this video on your social media channel. That will help me grow my channel which will mean I can bring out more videos. And as you can see, this is a really versatile design. You can add lots of extra uh, elements. I've added some flowers here. Uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing what you create. So do share your photos and designs with me on Balloon Artworks Academy, my closed Facebook group, you're very welcome to join. And on my app, I, on my special interest groups on my app. So I'll leave uh, links in the description below to all those and I'll see you again in the next video.